thank Kenyatta for inviting us into his set, right? Kenyatta in Sands. The, hey, man, Kenyatta Sands, man. Hey, we here, man, doing it with comedian Alex Thomas. What's going on, baby? I've been traveling my ass off. I've just been seeing random shit all over the country. Anybody ever been to Miami? <laughs> I was in Mississippi two weeks ago. Anybody ever been to Mississippi? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you been to Mississippi? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Thumb it up on these gyms, man. Hey, man, want to thank Kenyatta for inviting us into his set, right? Kenyatta in Sands. The, hey, man, Kenyatta Sands, man. Hey, we here, man, doing it with comedian Alex Thomas. What's going on, baby? I've been traveling my ass off. I've just been seeing random shit all over the country. Anybody ever been to Miami? <laughs> I was in Mississippi two weeks ago. Anybody ever been to Mississippi? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you been to Mississippi? Okay, so what we like to do here, we like to go back because we jumped straight into the book. Mm -hmm. But we like to go back to know, you know, your upbringing, where you're from, mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. mental illness, depression, <laughs> all of that good stuff. So go. I ahead. noticed that. I noticed that in your family. Well, shit. What family don't have uh, some type of dysfunction in it? I was born and raised in South Central LA. Mm -hmm. You know, um, where I came from. You always hear rappers talk about you ain't supposed to be here and all that. You know. Uh, I'm going to kind of be all over the place if that's, that's okay. Fine. Go ahead. Uh, born and raised in South Central LA. I was the only black kid in an all white private school. Uh, ended up, obviously, as you guys probably know, I wrote on uh, the TV show, The Original Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah. For four years, mm -hmm. uh, 93 to 97. One reason Will Smith and I got along so well is the same way he grew up on the East Coast, was kind of similar to how I grew up on the West Coast. Um, I know you got this book out, man, you know, and at the end of the day, man, you brought me a copy. I see, man, the funny don't stop. This is mine. I know it. I can. You know it is. And, and I, I bought a and Sharpie. And it's going to be pretty much. Uh, to sign uh, it. Yeah, of don't course. get it signed. And I seen here you had Nipsey also <laughs> in this thing, man. And, and I seen it. I seen this as well. And this is my uh -huh. type of book. Yeah, this is the one I can read. I and tell you. Yeah. Turn to the Why are you in a dress? Well, this is for me, man. I, well, there's a whole lot. Well, I'm going to explain what this book is all about. The first two years I thought the Migos was Mexican. Oh my God, I did too. <laughs> oh, I just got my copy. You gotta get your copy. Alex Thomas, you are hilarious. You've been doing this for years and I'm so glad that you are sharing it with the world now. The funny don't stop. This is my new book. It is called The Funny Don't Stop. The Funny Don't Stop. When you say Alex Thomas, you say The Funny Don't Stop with it. In fact, let me hear y'all on three. One, two, three. The, the Funny, funny don't, don't Stop. One more time. The Funny, funny don't, don't Stop. stop. Okay, that is also the name of my new one hour special. Wow. That's also the name of my podcast, The Funny Don't Stop Show. Wow. And just, it's just like a commemoration of this year is my 30 year anniversary of doing stand up comedy. That's what it what was about to say. when you was when you how, what what memories do you have with you and Jamie Foxx working on that show? Uh, what was some of the fonder memories? Man, it's incredible working with Jamie. I, I got real lucky early in my career, man, to work around people not only that I respected, but I learned from yeah. from being around Jamie Foxx every day at the Jamie Foxx show for three or four years, from being around Will Smith every single day for four years, yeah. from being around Martin, from being around Steve Harvey, from being around all these guys. You pick up things and apply it mm -hmm. to you. But I never was them. I could only be Alex Thomas. I mean, you I, knew that. I, I'm not the dude that you, you could look at hours of my jokes. You could come to shows. You're never going to say that dude sounds like Chris Rock. He doesn't sound like Dave Chappelle. He doesn't sound like Kevin Hart. He no. doesn't sound like that. No, no. I have my own style. I know. But I learned different things. I come from learning from the athletic world. Even though I was never an athlete, I'm a sports fanatic. Okay. And I always hear the greats talk about how they became who they became. Mm -hmm. You might hear, man, such such and such and such was my favorite. Like I picked up how he dribbled and I, you know, I learned how he shot. And then I, I watched the way that dude played play defense. And I just kind of ended up doing my own stuff. It was kind of like that with me with stand up. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.